Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on footy.com with yet another kit review. And it's that time of the year where all the third kits start to finally leak out. And today, well not leak, just be released I guess. Today we've got uh, Wolves' third kit from Adidas, the very Mexico-inspired kit. So we're going to go for that rundown, give it a review and all the usual kind of stuff. But don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you are new to footy.com so you don't miss out on a single kit review and a kit video and all that kind of stuff. The usual stuff, it's good content. Hit the subscribe button. But today, it's Wolves' turn in the spotlight. Um, I'm going to hand it over to our resident kit but for Delves to his thoughts on this Wolves kit what do you reckon mate? Yep you hit the nail on the head really it is essentially what it looks like a Mexico tribute I copied you from Twitter but it's true though, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is I mean and that's not a bad thing you know I think obviously there is a link uh, well Jimenez Possibly others. I mean, obviously, they're, they're kind of known as little Portugal, aren't Mexico they? Mexico feel like the, the Portugal of the uh, Central America. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. The about them is a bit cool and a bit like... Yeah, I, mean, no, just, I, yeah. I like it. No, I like the connection. It's that, a tenuous link, but kind of, I mean... I, yeah, yeah, it is tenuous. But I think, you know, from what I, from what I gather, Wolves have gained a, a real kind of legion of New Mexican fans, given the links. And, yeah. And, you know, whether that was the primary inspiration or not, uh, I don't mind it at all. I must say, it definitely doesn't look really like a Wolves kit apart from the badge no. of course um, but yeah as I say if you look, look at it as a kit um, kind of taking a step back I think it's quite nice and there's actually quite a few things which are good about it well what's good about it I think the, the biggest thing is it's a unique design um, so I'm about to ask is this a template or is it new so um, but I believe I believe the design is is unique although it does sort of bear resemblances to Certainly some of the MLS kits this year, you know, that kind of almost glitchy kind of pattern. But I think it is certainly not a design I'm familiar with from another kit. Obviously, like most Adidas shirts, the, the kind of base template, if you like, or the construction is very similar. So you've got a very yeah. standard collar, very standard cuffs, um, which kind of keep it from being really, really good. But but no, I think in terms of the pattern, it's nice to see one I'm not familiar with. I like with. this. I, I've never yep. seen a pattern like this. Um, everything about it seems pretty clean and pretty well constructed. Yeah. We talked a lot about the Chelsea... Uh, the Chelsea kit, which got an astonishing score, was an astonishing kit. But we talked in that video about how it felt just really well considered and designed and everything being considered. Yep. And this is not to that level, but it definitely feels mm. like everything just fits quite nicely. I really, I like, I like the pattern. It feels different. Yep. Um, obviously, it's got that ugly sponsor, but even that kind of blends in all right because yep. they've done it. They've dealt with a, a very, with a, they've been dealt with a very bad hand, but they dealt with it pretty well, you know, in terms mm. of the sponsor. Um, they have, they have. And I quite like the, look, the touches of red on it as well. I think mm. they look quite nice. Um, just, yeah, simple. I mean, I know sometimes you're a fan of when the badge pops out. We talked about the Dortmund kit, one of them. Um, yes, we did. What, we? Do, what do you reckon? Does that kind of jump out too much? Or do you no, I right? think I think on this kit, um, a lot of the time we like... Monochrome. Monochrome, or whatever, or yeah. Do um, exactly. But I think on this one, actually, it's not bad to yeah, see the walls, because particularly because it's quite an unusual design. So if, if the colours... <laughs> Uh, of a kit are kind of quite out there for a team and sometimes it doesn't hurt actually because Wolves obviously as well as the, the kind of crest design itself obviously that colour is very very symbolic of the club so I don't I don't mind that and I think it doesn't clash too much with the green it's definitely an interesting feature and, and you mentioned the red I think the red's quite nicely done it yeah I like the trim on the well. collar by the way I'm ticking the collar the yeah of and it's that really actually nice thin trim. yeah the thin trim and it's replicated on the cuffs as well you yeah. can see it so it's a nice um a nice kind of combination of the colours. Well, let's give this a score then. Uh, I'll get the kit rankings up. Uh, where, have they, where have they gone? I've already closed them. Let me just get them from Photoshop. Mm -hmm. uh, but what did we give the home kit? We gave the home kits. We're going to search it down now on our was, epic list. Yeah, of I think it was quite modest. First to find it, yeah. 71. 71. We, didn't, we haven't done the away kit yet. I think we missed that one. So we'll try yeah. and do it at some point in the future. But where, where's yep. this one going for you? Yeah, this one actually, I think I think there's definitely more to like than the home kit. The home kit was, was reasonable, but I think it probably was a bit of a step down given that it was a template, albeit a reasonable use of the yeah. template. So the fact this design is unique, I think automatically puts it above that. Um, it's quite a novel idea as well. There's definitely a novelty factor to the whole yeah, Mexico yeah. thing. So yeah, I think it's a mid-70s. I think it's, you know, it's a, okay. a reasonable kit. I wasn't sure how, how you're going to go with this. So Yeah, no, I think I think it doesn't. What it does doesn't. it need to do to be higher than that? I think the main thing would be kind of more in interesting details or more kind of features on things like the collar and the calves. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think just something, I guess, that to take it from feeling a bit more like a kind of a nice tote, it's on the way to being a great shirt, but 
something like I mean if it's going to be like a Mexico kit Mexico has some really mud patterns yeah, yeah, yeah I want to kind of go more kind of a bit more crazy but yeah okay get it mid 70s and let's stick it at 75 75 um, okay know, I thought you were going to go a little bit higher but I, I can understand it at the same time so decent score for pretty nice shirt uh, in general let us know what you make of that shirt in the comments below any Wolves fans watching do you think that's a fair score or what do you think of a home kit score so I'll go and watch that it'll be on screen somewhere after we finish talking for now though make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are a fan of kits and all that kind of stuff and all the content we do we've done so many videos and so many kits and they'll just keep on coming for now though i've been steven this is phil like comment subscribe we'll see you soon